Hi guys, welcome to Code Decode. Today in this video, we are going to cover some very frequently asked linguist coding interview questions. So here comes the problem. In our day-to-day -day IT world, we always work upon array list, hash set, hash map, such kind of data structures. But the linked list stack queue is something which is rare we use usually in our day-to-day -day life. So when asked about such basic data structures questions in interviews, be it a product-based company or service-based company, is a setback for us because we, we don't have the regular practice of such questions. So today we will see step-by-step -step procedure to how to solve any kind of linked list problem. So let's get started. Please like, share and subscribe to support us and we are setting a like target of 500 likes how to create a java program to find the middle node of the linked list in one single for loop so the requirement is it's okay if you can find the middle node but the point is you have to do in a single loop and at the end of that for loop you must have your middle node printed so let's get started and see what will be the steps of doing that so let's see how linked list looks like suppose this is a three node linked list so for any linked list the first it will be pointed with your head and the last will be tail. So this is a complete optional pointer. So the head pointer is the start of your linked list and the tail is the end of your linked list. And the last element always points to null. So if you can see, this is first node of your linked list. So this, what does this node contains? These node contains two things. First, a data, which is one, two, and three, and a pointer, a pointer to the next element. So the pointer one points to two, 2 points to 3 and the last element always points to null. So you have to create this linked list. How will you create it? Building block of linked list is a node. First is create a linked list class. Second, create a node class in which there will two things. There will be two things. The pointer to the next element and the data for the node itself. Initially, the pointer should always be pointing to null. So whenever you create one, the pointer should always be pointing to null and while adding elements, you have to remove this pointer from null to the new element that you have created and then the pointer again of 2 will be equals to null again you create a new node 3 whose pointer will be equals to null you you will remove this pointer and we will point to this and this is how your linked list is created while keeping the last element to the null so let's let's do it one by one the very first thing that we are going to create is to create a custom linked list class in java so this is my linked list class what is the building block of this linked list that is node so let's create an inner class node and what will be the attributes of this node data and pointer so data will be always of type in and this pointer is going to point to the next node so it's always going to be type of a node next and initially what we have decided we are going to put it to null and while adding we are going to point the previous one to the new node and keeping the new node to null. So always the new nodes next should always be equals to null while creating a node. So by this, we can see the parameters are done. Now we need a constructor to initialize your node. So whenever you will call this node class, you need to pass the data. So how will you do that? By using a constructor. So node constructor with a data such that this dot data equals to data. With this, our constructor is ready and with this, our class is ready now. Now, you need to create pointers, these two pointers who are going to point to first and the last. The tail is completely optional, depends upon you if you want to keep an extra pointer to point it to the next or not. Else, you have to traverse it all the way and your complexity will increase. So, until unless your interview doesn't say no, you don't want two pointers, you always put a tail so that your complexity will reduce. So the next is you need two pointers. So a pointer is pointing to node. So the type of pointer is pointing to node. So the node head, initially it will be null. Similarly, node tail will also point to null when your linked list is empty. So initially when linked list is empty, both are going to point to null. As soon as you put the first element, your head and tail will point to the first element. So currently if you're list is link list is empty how will you add your element you will add your element with a method so there must be a method which will initialize your link list with some new data so my method can be public void add nodes and it is going to take data with it new data so initially your link list is empty you will start with creating a new node add a data to it and initially your head and your tail will point to the new node and its next will point to null. So let's put the logic for creating the first node in the linked list. Use this class and create your new node. So node new underscore node equals to new node and your data will be new data. Now you will check whether it's the first element. So let's quickly check if head is equal to equals to null. So initially you have initialized it with null. Hence it will always be null at the, when it will be the first element. If it is null, then point your head equals to 
new node and tail also to the new node so your head and tail will both point to the new node and you don't have to point your new node to null why because it is already done when you create a new node we have created a constructor like this that your data will becomes to this and rather than initializing it let's why not let's just use this constructor and make its next as null while creating it only this is the best thing so while initializing your node you will always point your data to the given data so whatever new data you are receiving for creating a new node you will pass it here and your pointer will point to the null with this you have checked in the first node in the linked list now what happens if one node is already present and you want to add another node that is 2 we are going to create another node which is 2 data is going to be passed here with a new node you are going to create a new node with 2 now since head is not null and head is already pointing to 1 then your so your tail tails next will be the new node and tail will be removed from here to become the last node because your tail should always be pointing to the last node in this else condition it will be the case when head is not equals to null currently it is pointing to 1 so tail dot next becomes new node that is the only way to create a link between the existing linked list and your new node by pointing it to the new node and your tail should also point to the next one it should be tail dot next so at the end our linked list will be something like this where even your tail has moved from here to here similarly when you try to add 3 so you'll pass 3 here a new node will be created and while creating a new node a new node's data will be 3 and next will be null. now you have your add method also available with you now you need a method to print it public void print so that i can be able to see my the nodes created in the linked list print me can be my method we will keep a temp node here at the head and we will move it to the next 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 until the temp is not equals to null and we will keep on printing the data of temp pointer so we'll create a node temp initially it should be equals to your head your temp will be pointing to this place and then while your temp is not equals to null go on and print your temp dot data we'll create the pointer like this and your temp should go to next so temp equals to temp dot next in this way you're going to traverse till end and you are going to keep it printing at the end of this loop a null should be printed null now we have a method to add we have a method to print and we have the node class ready with us so let's quickly go ahead and create a main method here we are going to create a linked list so this is our linked list class we are going to link create a linked list in this linked list we are going to add nodes so add node method we have already created we are going to add 1 2 and 3 and let's just quickly see are we able to print it we have a method called print me we have used print ln let's remove the print ln great so isn't this something looking similar to what we have created here 1 2 3 and the next is pointing to null so your linked list is ready now how will you find the middle node in one single pass so now we need to find a middle node so we are going to create a method find middle node let's quickly create this method so this is something the linked list that we have created with one pointing with the head and the last node is pointed by tail now we have to find the middle node the middle node should be 2 so currently we are going to use two pointers a slow pointer and a fast pointer the fast pointer will traverse two node in one pass while the slow node will just have one node traverse it one pass so that when the fast reaches the end the slow will reach in the middle so i'll show you how so in the first pass when i equals to 1 your fast will move from node head dot next dot next your fast will reach here and your slow will just move to the middle node and we will check whether the fast dot next should not be null or fast should should not be null so there will be two conditions first when n equals to odd second when n equals to even we are not going to check it because our fast and slow pointer are going to manage it internally your fast reaches the end your slow will be in the middle because your fast is fast enough to traverse two nodes at a time and your slow is slow enough to just travel only one node at a time and hence your fast will reach the end your slow will be in the middle so let's implement this quickly if you have a node slow pointer pointing to head while a node fast pointer will show head we are not going to make it static otherwise it will not be able to access head so we are going to call this find middle node with a object that we have created the linked list object now you have two pointers slow pointer and fast pointer and you have to move it twice and you have to move it only once so while your fast pointer not equals to null and then your fast pointer dot next is also not null if the fast pointer's next is null that means it has reached the end of the linked list and your slow is wherever it is in the whole list it will be the middle node while it is not reaching to the end make the fast pointer move fast dot next dot next with this it will leap twice and slow pointer 
should pop only one loop. With the end of this loop, when your fast point has either reached to null or it has next equals to null, that is, it is the last element of the linked list, print slow pointer dot data. When you have only three elements, with this logic, at the end of this, you will have your data in place. Let's quickly run it and see, do we have it? Yes, the middle element is 2. Now let's quickly see if there is even number. That is when we have 4 elements, what will happen? Your fast will move twice. So at the first pass, your fast will be here and your slow will only go once. In the next iteration, when i equals to 2, your fast will move twice. So your fast will be here and your slow will become a pointer at 3. So if you can see 1, 2, 3 and 4 and null, your la middle element should be 3. So when your fast has reached to the null or its next is equal to null. So in, in, in the even case, your fast will always reach to null. Handled in, in our condition, our first has reached to null. Your slow will be your middle element. So here 3 should be our output. So let's create one more node with 4. And now our linked list is containing 4 elements and your middle element is 3. I'll al also show it with one more element that is with 5. Your first pointer goes twice. So your first pointer goes here. Slow pointer is here. Next time your fast pointer hops twice and reaches to 5 and your slow pointer reaches to 3. So when there are 5 elements, th 3 should be your middle element. Now the fast pointer's next is null, so this will be returned. So when there are 5 elements, again 3 should be your middle node. So our logic for finding the middle element is working perfectly fine in both the cases and you haven't even used the odd and even system. So single pass, you are able to find your middle node. Let's quickly go ahead and see the next question that is how to find whether a linked list contains a cycle or not. So let's first see what is a cycle. So suppose this is my six nodes linked list. When suppose this three is pointing to two. Suppose this third pointer is pointing to two. Now if you can see this linked list with three elements is having a loop. That is one is pointing to two, two is pointing to three, but three is pointing to two again. Then this is a loop. So initially what we have done is we have created a linked list with six elements. But in the second time, we have moved the pointer from three to two. So initially it was like this. Now you have removed this pointer and you have moved this pointer from three to two. So this has created a loop in, in your linked list. So let's quickly create a loop and then create a method to find this loop in the linked list. So for creating six elements, we have already five. We'll create another node, which is six. So this is a linked list with six elements. Let's create a loop at the pointer three. So how will you reach till three? So three will be head dot next dot next dot next. So three times next. So link list dot head dot three times next will be your pointer from three. Three times you will be here at this point, your pointer at three. And now you have to point it to two. So head dot next. Simple. Now you cannot print this. The logic in print is while temp not equals to null. So here temp will never be equals to null. Because it is a loop here, so if you try to print it, it will print you infinite loop. If you want to see, debug this for you so that you can see how our code is uh, printing. Our code should print 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. Our code prints 1, then 2, then 3, and then 2, and then 3, and 2, and 3, and so on till infinite loop. So this is going till infinite. Why? Because we have created a loop at line number 52 here. This is a very important question. How will you create an infinite loop and linked list? It will be a performance issue. Your stack will overflow. You should not create an infinite loop ever in a linked list. But to do that is to create the cycle like this. Now your task is okay. If you should not do, you should also before printing check whether it should not contain a cycle. So the next task before printing is you should check it should not contain a cycle. So how will you check? Create a method. Find cycle. In linked list. How will you find a cycle in a linked list now? We'll create a method to find a, a cycle in a linked list. Again, we're going to use two pointers here. These two pointers are only going to do our task. Now, suppose here, this is my slow pointer. This is my fast pointer. It goes twice here. My fast goes here. My slow is here. Next time in the next loop, my fast goes twice. It hops twice. So it goes here and it again goes here. So it again iterates and reaches to the same location. Because there is only two nodes and when it hops twice, it reaches to the same node. So since your uh, fast is again here and your slow reaches here in the next loop, then your slow and fast uh, points to the same node. Is that possible in a single link list? We always see that fast always hops twice, single hops once. 
So your slow pointer and fast pointer should never reach at the same node at any point of time in a linked list where there is no loop. So if in any case your slow and fast reaches to the same node, that means for short sure that linked list is containing a loop or a cycle. Let's quickly check slow and fast does not point to the same node. While your slow pointer is not null and and your fast is not null and your fast next should also be not null. In if any of these conditions passes, then you have no loop. So the same concept fast will go double and slow will hop only once. If any case, in any case, if your slow pointer becomes equals to your fast pointer, that is the case you have loop. So print we have a loop here at node the slow pointer dot data or the fast pointer dot data because in any way slow and fast will be pointing to the same point. So in any case, your slow and fast will point to this and a very important thing at the end, you have to break your loop. If and this is very important condition, if you don't break it, it will go into the infinite loop because your slow pointer and fast pointer will never point to null because slow and fast pointer will keep on iterating between 3 and 2, 3 and 2, 3 and 2. There will be no end loop and none of slow and fast will point to null. That is why you have to break it if there is a loop. So let's quickly debug and see. How our code works. So initially, my is my slow pointer and fast pointer at the same position? No, it is not. So it will go for the second time. It is, and we do have a loop here at three. So when at three, slow and fast at the same point in the second iteration, and hence this particular while loop is executed twice and at the, the second loop. So when at the first the slow pointer was here at the second iteration, slow pointer was here. So at the end of second iteration. We had our fast pointer and slow pointer pointing to the same node that is 3 and hence we have found the loop at point node number 3. So with the fast pointer and slow pointer approach we can see that the time complexity is order of n and space complexity is order of 1 because the time complexity is only one traversal of loop is required. We have just traversed it once and the space complexity is it because we have just done with the pointers there is no new node created for finding the loop in the Java. So that was all about a linked list. We'll meet in the next video with more such questions. If you want to support us please like, share and subscribe this video and please let me know in the comment section if you know more such type of data structures questions. Thank you.